Fox 13 News at 10. And welcome back. He's a former 49ers linebacker who became homeless. Concussions forced him from the game. But did they put him on the streets? Now a cherished old coach is helping him rise up again. There are many who try, but few who reach such prominence in sports. Terry Titolo is one of them. Slot right. One of the flankers nearly lined up offside. Terry Totalo made the stop on him. A Rose Bowl champion in 1976 with UCLA. Then it was on to the NFL. Montana. Looking, looking, throwing in the end zone. Oh, in 1981, Totolo played for the 49ers, the year they won their first Super Bowl. After nine years in the NFL, concussions ended Terry Totolo's career. Life after football left him homeless. His name is Terry Totolo. He was once a fearsome linebacker in the NFL. So this is where you decided would be the best place for you to stay. When I first met Totolo, he showed me the tunnel where he once stayed. Do you think I'm something's wrong with me? His old teammates put out a call for help. Do you think Terry wants help right now? You know, he's, Terry's a very proud man, I know that. Uh, none of us want to ask for help. You look at him and, you know, the teeth missing, the eyes sunken in. Um, uh, I mean, but yet you ask him, oh, I, I don't have any issues. Help arrived. Dick Vermeil worked his team very hard. Dick Vermeil. The coach who recruited Totolo to play UCLA football in 1974 and drafted him into the NFL found Totolo again 40 years later to make the comeback of a lifetime. Well, I got reconnected him by a story that was done on your station, and people started calling me about it. Did you see this? Did you see this? This is Terry Totolo today. Hey, Steve. Terry Totolo. Hi. How are you, man? Good. Great to see you. More muscles, clean shaven, and sparkling new teeth. The before and after photos are striking. Terry is living in this recovery house in Santa Monica. I'm here now, and uh, I'm grateful. Well, at what point did you start wanting to talk about it or feel like it was time to talk about it? His view of the world has changed considerably from a tunnel beneath a freeway to the beachfront. The house director is Luke Chittick, who monitors Totolo's routine. Yeah, I mean, coming into a recovery community for Terry was kind of like, you know, going to the moon. Totolo admits now what he wouldn't then. You remember the day that we spoke in the tunnel? Yeah. Drug addiction dominated his life. You were using drugs every day? Yeah. Methamphetamine? Yeah. Anything else? No. It's such a bad word, addiction or alcoholism, but it really isn't. It's, that's my truth. Totolo's truth emerged only after our interview in the tunnel when Vermeil and a host of others teamed up to help him. A documentary crew took Totolo to doctors specializing in traumatic brain injuries. MRI showed several spots in his brain that could be concussion related. I just said, wow, it's a picture of my brain on a screen. Two dots on it, and the doc says, these are your concussions. But Totolo still won't say concussions led to his homelessness. Do you think concussions played a role in how you've lived your life? They haven't. I remember that one. I surprised Totolo and Vermeil with snapshots from the year they met. The response was instant. But yeah, he's a special guy. I mean, that picture just depicts him. And to me, he's still a kid. Old photos surround coach Dick Vermeil everywhere. His friendships in football stretch decades back, and Terry Totolo has always held a special place in his heart. Well, he came into UCLA with me. We were both rookies in big time football. When he learned Totolo was in trouble, Vermeil tracked him down. When you see him, and it startled me. And my wife Carol was with us, and she was very close to Terry. And uh, it startled us. And right away, you've got to say, hey, 
we're getting involved in this thing, Terry. And when we spoke that night, not a lot, but I said, we're getting involved and we're going back to being what you used to be. Along with a scholarship from the Transcend Sober Living House, Vermeil helped pay for Totolo's treatment, and he got the NFL Players Association to pay for part of the tab too. Despite Terry's belief, football head injuries have not led him to a life of addiction. I asked him about that. Are you involved with the NFL lawsuit? He said, no, he said, football not, wasn't my problem. I do believe it was part of it because he did uh, experience a number of concussions, but he didn't want to use that as a crutch. Vermeil is out of coaching now and spends some of his time running his Calistoga winery, which doubles as a football shrine. Sometimes to a fault, we get really close with our guys, and Terry was very easy to get close to. Now, four decades later, the bond between this coach and his player are proving unbroken. At my age now, I think back that, wow, he's still with me. And I'm not playing any more ball. He still calls me up. A week after I sat down with Totolo and Vermeil, they had a visit themselves. Oh, you look great. An ex-football player faced with a challenge of a lifetime. Proud of you. And an inspiring coach whose lessons are resonating even after the game is over. What down is it? That's how I treat it. What's next? Get up and do it again. In addition to Vermeil, Totolo now has a wide safety net of new friends helping him stay sober. As part of his treatment, he is also serving as a mentor. He works with children living with autism.